Welcome to a lesson with Dr. Powell. We're going to look at what an even permutation is and what an odd permutation is. So we look at permutations in cycle notation. Start with something like one, two, three, four. One goes to two, two goes to three, three goes to four, and four goes to one as a function. Now, if we rewrite this in terms of two cycles, this would be, I could think of it as one, two, one, three, and one, four. Notice, notice this is a cycle of length four, and it's made up of three transpositions. where a transposition is the same as a two cycle. So we say that this is an odd permutation because it's made up of an odd number of transpositions. As a general rule of thumb, you can think if a cycle is has even length, it actually is an odd permutation because it's made up of an odd number of transpositions. If a permutation has an odd length, it's made up of an even number of transpositions. And so we call this an even permutation. So that's the difference between an odd permutation and an even permutation. It has to do with how many, um, how many transpositions that make, that make it up. Now, if we take this, now if we take the set of all transpositions, I mean of all, excuse me, of all permutations on four things, we can call that S sub four. This is called the symmetric group on four things. Now, this, is, this set is special. It has an operation associated with it um, for structure composition. You can compose two things in this set. This is the set of permutations on the set of one, two, three, four. And in here, permutations are e either even or they're odd. So if we partition S4 into two chunks, even permutations and odd permutations, the operation of composition actually transfers perfectly and is preserved in this chunking process even to odd, where it behaves a lot like addition mod two even, where even is kind of like a zero and odd is like a one. Meaning that if you compose an even and an odd permutation, it's like adding a zero plus one. So you get zero plus one is one, which is odd, represents odd. Therefore you get an odd permutation. So even composed with odd is odd, even composed with even is even. Odd composed with odd is like one plus one, which is zero, which would then be even again. So we can use that idea as follows. If we have one, two, three, composed with one, five, three, four, we know this one right here is even. This one right here is odd and composed together would give you odd. The same way as you would say zero plus one equals one. Thanks for watching.